Hello and welcome to this how-to video. In this video I will show you the installation possibilities of the Cooling Jacket Advanced Standard. The Cooling Jacket is available in two versions. With the standard version you can install one PI camera or one pyrometer. The extended Cooling Jacket has the possibility to integrate a PI camera or pyrometer and one netbox or USB server with one industrial process interface. In this video, I'm going to show you the handling of the Cooling Jacket Advanced Standard. As I mentioned before, you can use the Cooling Jacket Advanced for the PI camera or the pyrometer series as CT Laser, CS Laser, CT Video or CS Video. You can use the jacket in an ambient temperature up to 315 degrees C. Every time you have the possibility to check the internal temperature of the device as analog or digital signal. With the integrated air purge, the lens will be clean all the time. With the cooling jacket at one standard, you get the housing with the integrated chassis and mounting bracket. For each sensor or camera, you need an additional focusing unit or front part, which you have to order separately. If you want to use a netbox or a USB server, you have to place these parts outside of the cooling jacket at once. Beside the focusing units and front parts, there are also protection windows and also grids available. Today I will show you how to install the 53 degree optic with the PI400i or 450i camera and the focusing unit. And how to install the 80 degree optic with the PI400i or PI450i together with the front part. Finally I show you the installation of the 60 degree optic with the PI640 camera together with the focusing unit. I show you today the installation of different optics due to a different mounting inside of the cooling jacket. Let's start with the installation of the PI400i or PI450i camera together with the 53 degree optic. For this installation you need a cooling jacket at one standard, a focusing unit, a PI camera 400i or PI camera 450i, a screwdriver and a high temperature USB cable with a pre-installed cable gland which has to be ordered separately. First take the focusing unit and loosen the screws to unmount the brackets. Take the brackets out and put the screws next to it. Take out the ring part and make sure that the o-ring is in the position. Put it back in. Take the PI camera and unscrew the optic. Put the optic into the middle of the focusing unit. Now place the brackets back into the focusing unit and tighten the screws. Take the focusing unit and the camera and connect the parts. Let's have a look to our cooling jacket housing. First release the lock and then open the brackets on both sides and pull out the chassis and put it in front of you.
Now we want to integrate our high temperature USB cable into the cooling jacket. To install the cable gland into the cooling jacket, you have to remove the blind screw. Now lead the cable through the hole and tighten the gland again. Take the camera and connect the USB cable. Be sure that you turn the focusing unit into the right position, that the edge marks fit into the chassis. This is the right position. Turn around the chassis and you will see there is a hole for the screw. Tighten the screw. The last part is that we take our chassis and lead it back into the housing. Turn it to the right position and close the brackets. Finally, lock the housing again and it's done. Now we are ready with the installation. You have every time the possibility to focus the camera by rotating the focusing unit to have a clear, sharp image. Now we have a look to the installation of the PI400i or PI450i camera together with the 80 degree optic. For this installation you need the cooling jacket advanced standard, the PI400-450i camera and the front part unit. In addition to the front part, a protective window is necessary, which has to be ordered separately. You also need a high temperature cable with a cable gland. Please note that for the 80 degree optic only a front part is available, which cannot be focused. Therefore, the focusing of the camera has to be done before the installation into the cooling jacket at once. Let's start with the cooling jacket housing. First release the lock and then open the brackets on both sides. Then pull out the chassis and put it in front of you. Take the PI camera and mount the supplied bracket to the camera. Be sure that the side with the smaller slot is screwed into the tripod connection of the camera. Here you can see the front part and here the protection window. Now we take the window and put it into the front part. After this place the o-ring to hold the window down. Take the red cover and push it onto the front of the cooling jacket housing. As already seen before, we have now to integrate our high temperature USB cable into the cooling jacket. To install the cable gland into the cooling jacket, you have to remove the blind screw. Now lead the cable through the hole. 
and connect the camera with the USB cable. Then push the camera into the chassis. Be sure that the front of the camera is coming together with the edge of the chassis. Turn around the chassis and you will see there is a hole for the screw. Put in the screw and tighten it up. Move the cable gland to the right position and screw it into the housing. Now place the front part in front of the chassis. Be sure that you turn it into the right position that the edge marks on the front part fit into the chassis. This is the right position. As you have seen before, take the chassis and lead it back into the housing. Turn it to the right position and close the brackets. Finally lock the housing again. Now we are ready with the installation of the 80 degree optic. Finally we have a look to the installation of the 60 degree optic together with the PI640 camera. By the way, this is the same installation like the 90 degree optic installation for the PI640 camera. You need to mount the supplied bracket to the camera. Be sure that the side with a smaller slot is screwed into the tripod connection of the camera. Take the focusing unit and loosen the screws to unmount the brackets. Put the brackets next to the camera on the table. Now unscrew the optic from the PI camera and place it into the middle of the focusing unit. Now place the brackets back into the focusing unit and tighten the screws. Take the focusing unit and the camera and connect the parts. Let's have a look at our cooling jacket housing. First release the lock and open the brackets on both sides. Pull out the chassis and put it in front of you. To install the cable into the cooling jacket you have to remove the blind screw. The USB high temperature cable has an own cable gland to mount it into the cooling jacket. Be sure that you have enough space between the USB connector and the cable gland. For this you can change the position of the cable gland. You don't need to fix the cable gland now. So we have more flexibility to connect it to the camera. Now connect the camera. Now we want to push the camera into the chassis. For this, take care of the right position. Be sure that the edges of the focusing unit fit into the chassis. Turn the focusing unit if it's necessary. This is the right position. Turn around the chassis and you will see there's a hole for the screw. Put in the screw and tighten it up.
Now take the chassis and lead it back into the housing. Turn it to the right position and screw the cable gland into the housing. Close the brackets and lock the housing again. You have now the possibility to focus the camera by rotating the ring. Now we finished the installation of the cooling jacket Standard Advanced together with the PI640 camera and the 60 degree optic. For the cooling jacket Advanced we have some accessories available like this mounting flange and now I show you the installation of the mounting flange. For the mounting of the flange we have to remove the mounting bracket. Use a tool to loosen these four screws and put the screws on the table. Now you have to remove the screws from both sides of the mounting bracket. Now you can remove the bracket. We now use the screws you received together with the mounting flange. Here on the cooling jacket you can find the holes which are matching with the holes in the flange. Place the screws and tighten them up. Now you can use these holes to mount the cooling jacket to any wall, which can be for example an oven wall or a combustion chamber. So we are ready with the installation of the mounting flange. You can see you have here in front of the cooling jacket the mounting flange and here you can use the screw to install the mounting flange on your furnace wall or on another wall. Here you can connect the air purge and the water cooling. Sometimes you can find applications in harsh environments. Therefore we offer the Lamina air purge, which you can install in front of the cooling jacket at once. For this installation you find a separate video on our YouTube channel.